to me, like it's been a legendary name since I was a student. Um, and in fact, the, the first camera I acquired after a Rolleiflex was in fact a Leica 3G. And I was completely into uh, photo reportage and small cameras. And I've always been into small cameras. I, I have, I've had medium format cameras. I've had five full plate cameras. But actually, medium form uh, uh, miniature cameras are really what I love because they're unobtrusive. Um, they do a staggering job of capturing things quickly and simply. And this, this new Leica is really just an extension, but a very surprising, a very unexpected one, <clears throat> because who would ever, ever have thought Leica would go into medium format? Um, and again, it's a sort of crossover camera, because it's, it's not a complete um, medium format in the sense that it's not got a 60 megapixel sensor. And it's not a complete 35 because it's a, it's a 35 millimeter camera on steroids. And it's, it's big, it's chunky, it's comfortable to hold. Um, and it's mostly, I've, I've had the camera in my hand about an hour. And most of the um, controls are in, intuitive and you can find your way around them really quickly. Uh, it's got the most wonderful screen. It's really easy to focus. I'm getting old and my eyesight's not as good as it used to be, but um, I can focus this easily. It's got very fast lenses, and the other thing about it is, of course, it's a completely integrated system built from the ground up. So the lenses and the sensor match. I mean, they've been made to work with each other. They're not sensors that have been optimized to work with old film lenses, and they're not film lenses that have been upgraded to try and work with digital. This is a complete integrated system. Um, there are at the moment uh, available for us to test 70 and a 180, but there are about five lenses announced and on the way, and there will be more. And one of the most important of all, which isn't produced yet but will be, is a 35mm tilt and shift lens, which will make architecture with this camera a complete joy. Um, two card slots, so it's got an SD card slot and um, the other one. Compact. compact flash, thank you, compact flash. I don't like SD cards because I lose them, they're much too small, they get hidden in the crevice of my pockets and things. But um, you've got the option here and you can also divide the images so you can shoot JPEGs to the SD card and uh, full-blown ones to the um, compact flash. And the other amazing thing about this is that it shoots in DNG. So you don't have to download the files and convert them. You can import the files directly into Lightroom, which is what I use, which makes it incredibly fast. Um, downloading stuff off the card, I've done some shooting outside, and it just goes straight into Lightroom, and there it is. No messing about, no renaming things, no putting it in new folders and changing it and having a raw file and a DNG. It just shoots DNGs. I think it's absolutely lovely.